I don't think you have to live with anything forever. Um, I think colorism can be healed, but it has to, it has to start in the home. It's gonna take for us to be a role model. A lot of people don't wanna be a role model. I I'm not that, I wanna live my life. But the truth of the matter is, you're a role model when you're an auntie. You're a role model when you're a grandmother. You're a role model when you're a big cousin because you have to stand for something because everybody is looking at you when you're the elder, when you're the oldest one, you're leading by example. So you gotta be able to stand for something. I love my people, I love all the shades. God made me this way, so I have to be happy with who I am. And it's a journey, and I embrace my brown skin sisters. I love them, and I hope that they embrace me. And I want my brown skin sisters to stop looking at the light skin sisters and like, mm, she thinks she cute. No, she doesn't. I heard that with my girlfriend, she thinks she cute. Cause she swung her hair, it was in her face. Or the way she walks, she just doesn't think she cute. She's confident. But I bet you that same sister's at home crying on the floor cause we got the same issues. Whether light, whether dark, whether mixed, whether there's only one of you. Don't waste your time thinking that you're not good enough. Don't waste your time thinking that you're ugly. Don't waste your time, because somebody else is thinking the same thing. So if you're thinking you're beautiful, then you can pass it off to somebody else. I say consistently that the highest religion on the planet is truth. And most of us don't live in truth when we're looking at the aesthetics of ourselves. And we look in the mirror, we have not learned how to love ourselves. And in us not being able to love ourselves, we're gonna lack that self-esteem, we're gonna lack that self-confidence, and that's gonna be a human plight until the end of time. I think the bottom line of everything, even when we talk about healing as colorism issue in the world, that it starts with healing yourself. Because really, you're the only person you can control. And so, work on yourself and treat yourself, talk to yourself the way you would talk to somebody who you're trying to heal. Pretty is as pretty does. If you act nice, then that means you are pretty, but if you act mean, that means you're ugly. You should be glad that you are like who you are because like God is never wrong and makes you how you are and um, you should never doubt that. Do you think you're white? Yellow girl, you're not black. I was trying to make up for not being black enough. Dark Girls ignited a worldwide trending conversation. Now, the sequel, featuring candid, exclusive interviews. We're always looking for ways to live our best lives, especially on a daily basis. With me today is dietitian and health fitness specialist, Rebecca Scritchfield, and we're discussing ways to sneak good-for-you habits into your daily routine.